What's up, folks? This is Crypto with James talking to you today about Cartesi. Cartesi is uh, a project that I have been watching for a while. Fundamentally, there is a vital, vital need for um, layering solutions for Ethereum. Cartesi provides that in a way that I think is massively undervalued right now. And I think there are big, big, big gains coming for Cartesi in the next bull cycle. And I'm going to explain why. If you like making big gains, you're going to want to pay attention to this. Before I get into it, you may be new to the channel. You may be going, why the hell should I listen to you, James? So these are the first 26 coins that I spoke about on this channel. Had you invested 100 bucks into each of those coins when I released videos about them, and you'd done the worst thing as an investor. You never sold them. You just literally bought them and rode them all the way down into a recession. You'd still be in profit for around seven grand. That's doing everything wrong. But Because remember, when you make an investment at some point, you've got to sell it to make those profits. You should buy low, you sell high. If you've done the right thing, though, if you'd have sold these coins last year, when the markets flew up, you would have been in profit for 123K. That's the difference between doing the right thing and the wrong thing, about 115, 16 grand. Um, these are not the coins that I own anymore. If you want to see the coins that I own, you can go to copymycrypto.com. It's where I share every, my portfolio. It's where I share every coin I buy and every coin I sell. Now, if you are, uh, if you've never traded anything before, <clears throat> we have step-by-step -step tutorials in the members area because there's a lot of members that have never bought, made any investment whatsoever. So we, it's perfect for beginners. Now, guys, if you're looking to make the kind of gains that this spreadsheet shows, these 52 X's, 62, 677, then you're going to want to go to the site. Um, in 2020, I made a Udemy course. I've only ever made one. And it was on what I thought was the best investment of the year, which was Phantom. It said it would 100 X. Obviously, it did way more than that. Had you put in a grand, you'd have been able to buy a house. Had you put in two grand, you'd have been a millionaire. When I find the next Phantom, and I'm always searching, I will go to the site and I will tell all the members. So if you want to find out which coin is going to be the biggest gainer for the next bull cycle, if you want to make the gains without having to do the work and you can copy along with what I've got, go read the site now. Now Cartesi. Cartesi is hugely undervalued. Um, so all-time high for Cartesi was, I believe... Uh, well, there we go. One dollar, sort of forty-seven, and it had two pretty good peaks in the previous bull cycle. Um, Cartesi's market cap right now is eighty-three million. Um, you'll see from the title, obviously, I believe a hell of a lot about like that. This can do really significant gains, and I'll explain why. Firstly, look, Ethereum is the biggest network around. Ethereum needs scalability, and that's why so many people use Matic. Polygon, Optimism, Arbitrum, and Cartesi has a solution as well. And Cartesi's solution is pretty damn good. In fact, when you look at the throughput and how, um, and the tech comparisons, look, Cartesi has uh, their roll-ups, their languages are, uh, for development are available in every single language, uh, coding language. The development tools are... Um, unlimited effectively, their throughput is about 10,000 times what Ethereum is. The computational throughput, I want to make that clear. The transaction throughput is still about 40 times. Fees, significantly less. The 40th of the uh, cost of Ethereum. Now, Cartesi are aiming to be the blockchain operating system. It's, they define themselves as the first blockchain OS for developers to begin building uh, decentralized products or decentralized, um, decentralized protocols via Cartesi. They've got every uh, coding language available. They've got all the software tools, libraries, and services for anyone to use. All of them are free from scalability limits. That, and that's the big thing with Ethereum. 
we are going to see a massive boom in Ethereum, even more than we have already seen. And that means layering solutions are necessary. And yes, we'll see Matic fly up. Yes, we'll probably see Mutable X. Um, possibly we'll see um, a number of the other scaling solutions begin to really start rocketing. But Cartesi are working to ensure that every developer can come and utilize their network with as much ease as possible. And they're now blockchain agnostic, so they can work with Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, Polygon, and more. And that's, again, really important. The whole goal is to have a huge ecosystem full of developers pushing to create new solutions, cutting edge um, innovations. And they're looking to also be the bridge between Web 2 and Web 3. And again, I think the potential here for their success is fantastic. Um, if you've not seen the, uh, the founders of Cartesi are speaking constantly, uh, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's in on channel, other people's channels, they are all out and about. And I've said this before, that's a massive thing for me. I want to see leaders lead, you know, when uh, the next bull cycle rolls around, you're going to want to see those leaders in a place where they're being seen because that brings in huge amounts of retail uh, investments from um, new people in the market. So the more uh, pre prevalent the leadership is, the better chance of success. And if you go on to uh, their site, you can see through and start reading through uh, how they are pushing for their blockchain OS. Um, and this is what is needed. And I quite like the sort of effective rebranding of it. You know, I think blockchain OS will end up being a really prevalent and um, promising sort of turn of phrase that people are going to want to go to. You know, making sure that uh, the operating systems for blockchains are going to be outstanding is Cartesi's goal. And I think when you see new developers looking for places to go, this is where they can go. You know, there's a big push on the new economy within um, within the digital uh, age and Cartesia capitalizing on it. Um, and as you can see through uh, the site, the team is outstanding. Um, although I can go and find the founders here anyway. Um, so the founders, Cartesi's uh, core contributors come from uh, backgrounds with top companies like Microsoft Research, PhDs uh, from universities like ETH Zurich and Princeton. And again, you can see the full list of the team here. Um, but the founding team, uh, Eric Nomura, is quite consistently in uh, the public eye, which is a good thing because he's very articulate and when he actually is answering questions, works well um and <clears throat> to be fair colin Steele also i've seen uh in a number of different interviews the but guys here's a quick question what do you think into you know does the leadership matter to you in in any crypto does leadership matter to you um let me know in the comments down below because i'm curious to see if anyone has the similar perspective to me or different um and also if you're a returning viewer subscribe to the channel because, you know, 75.7, 75.8% people, percent of people that watch this channel are returning viewers but never subscribe. Don't make me keep asking, guys. To subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel. And if you're consistently watching, you may as well do it. Um, and, yeah, so Cartesi, they've got uh, Cartesi Labs as well. So um, this is a program run by the foundation. Uh, to fund research and the development of the ecosystem. Again, for me, this is massively important. You want to have grants. You want to incentivize people to come and build with Cartesi. So utilizing grants like that bodes really, really well. As you can see, they've begun um, growing, and I do believe over the course of time they're going to really add to this. But right now we can see 12 
uh, projects on um, that are decentralized apps on their uh, network. I'd like to see this grow massively, and this is something to continue watching because you have to be building during a bear cycle. Now, if they continue adding to this and continue the innovations that they've got and really push a marketing campaign on blockchain OS, <clears throat> Cartesi has immense potential. And five dollars a coin would be putting it at a market cap of three billion, which is nothing. When you look at what Matic will be, when you look at what Ethereum will be, and I believe Cartesi has the potential to be one of the top layering solutions for Ethereum. Three billion dollar market cap is minuscule, and that's a massive gainer. Um, and it could be way more, but it depends on how much they grow the world of uh, Cartesi during the bear cycle. Um, but I'm really intrigued by this. And I think that rebranding of being the blockchain operating system could be huge as long as they really capitalize on it marketing wise. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Like I said, so many returning viewers. Don't forget to subscribe. And also hit the bell notification because my videos will make you money so you don't want to miss them. Um, and guys, if you want to see the coins that I own right now, Go read CopyMyCrypto.com. It's where I share my entire portfolio, every coin I buy and every coin I sell. If you're new to crypto, you've been in crypto a while, but you don't have the time, the energy to do the research, I do it all the time, every damn day, um, which is why I'm building, continuing building my portfolio. You can make these kind of gains by simply copying along. And I'm going to uh, find another phantom another coin that can 100x. And when I do, I'm going to be getting in on it. I'm going to be telling the members about it. So again, you can get in on that massive gainer for next uh, bull cycle nice and early. But go read the site. Everything on the site, by the way, is verifiable because it's all on the YouTube channel. But you can go through the history of the YouTube channel as well. Uh, and that's it for me. Take it easy, folks. Bye-bye.